In today's video, we're in Fisherman's Village on a Friday night. We're catching a sunset and a fire show on the beach, and then taking you to the local night market for some food and margaritas. It's Friday night here in Koh Samui, Thailand. <laughs> we are taking you to Fisherman's Village and we are going to do a little sunset on the beach. We're gonna check out the market. Friday night's sort of the big night for the market. It is, um, we've been before. So the uh, Fisherman's Village uh, night market is every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It was hard for us to actually find the market the yes. first time, the first night we were here looking for it. Um, it was also confusing when it was open, was it just yep. Fridays? Um, exactly. So that's why we're giving you the most up-to-date information, but we are also gonna take you with us through Fisherman Village. We're gonna show you exactly where that road is that the night market is. Okay, so we're here at the entrance of Fisherman's Market. This becomes a walking street every night at eight o'clock? Uh, six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six to 10 o'clock every night is a walking street. Yeah, so they actually do put barricades up. So that's the way we've entered. We'll put a little map below showing the point where we um, started this little walking tour. Don't worry, it's not gonna be a full long ass walking tour. Um, just wanna show you some of the highlights and what to expect and where to find that. Uh, night market. Okay, so once you get down to the tea corner and you see the boat, you are going to want to take a left hand turn and start walking down through Fisherman's Village because that's the way towards the market. Okay, pay attention. This is not the market. There's a mini market thing going on, but the prices are way higher than the actual market. Okay, so that was like the happy elephant. So across from the Happy Elephant, there is like a mini market, I guess you could call it. There's mango sticky rice, there's other vendors. And, and there's even a band at night. So we, our first night, we just assumed that that was a market. And I'm thinking that's a little underwhelming and the prices weren't as no. affordable as and, we thought. And the selection was very limited. Yeah. It's not the market. That is there every night as well, if you want yeah. to check it out a night that the market is closed. So just carry on and keep walking and uh, we'll be there soon. Okay, so we're here. We're at basically the beginning of the night market that's on the beach side. Yeah. Um, so we're going to show you. So basically, if you get yourself to Coco Tams, that is where the street is. We are on the east side of the Coco Tams building. So if you find yourself there, you will see the street and you'll see the market stretching out. So that's where we're going now. Check it out. They'll just be setting up. So. So after you walk through all of that. One of our guilty pleasures at the market is um, 99 bot margaritas. Hello, my friend, how are you? <laughs> when you get a chance, we'll take two margaritas. When you get a chance. Kent yeah. always makes them fresh and they're very delicious. For sure. Um, so we're gonna enjoy your drink here and then we're going to head down to the beach for a sunset. And you'll see a totally different vibe then. Yeah. We'll show you, we'll do a little spin now, but it really, it really gets going at night. So yeah. make sure to come and enjoy it after dark when you do come. For sure. Cheers. Cheers. Coco Tams, it's actually Coco Tams 
sister, niece, whatever restaurant summer uh, that you have to go to if you want to sit on this vibing beach for sunset. Now here in Costa Mui, um, at Fisherman's Village, Boat Beach, we are on the north side, so we don't get a true sunset straight out front, but it's right over there to our left, uh, setting in the west, and it actually is really beautiful. It is. We really like, it. you could just see, you see the, the mirror of the sunset or whatever, the, the colors over the sky, and the sunset really is right there. So it's pretty good. So this is very much touristy. It doesn't really get more vibey, beachy, touristy, awesome than here at Coco Tams from what we've gathered since we've been here. So yeah, we just want to check out the prices. So let's check it out here. What have we got? Well, I guess if we compare a margarita that we just had, we had a 99 baht margarita, so 375 Canadian. So this one is 280 baht. Approximately three times more, but $11 for a margarita cocktail on a beach in Thailand. It works for me. You gotta be pretty cheap, Charlie. You right. don't think that's a good deal? So a bottle of beer, um, or can, not quite sure, is 140 bucks. But if you're paying touristy prices um, for the area that you're in, and like Jan said, so. A little bit of this. All right, guys, we got our snacks here that we ordered. What have we got? Um, oh, we got some uh, little tenders or little skewers. That's uh, some pork skewers with a little, with the satchel. We have a satchel of rice. It's interesting. In here. Okay, thank you. That's our rice. Um, and then we have chicken pops. Um, and I got a Sprite and that all came to? It was like a little over 400 baht. Okay guys, we are still here at Coco Tams. We're sitting on the beach and it's 7.15 and what is starting is the fire show. Show number one of the night. coming into a fire show because we've seen fire shows um, like in Dominican and Mexico and all that. Um, but this was next level, it was amazing. We got a tip that it was actually a great show yeah. and we're so glad we came. So definitely come and check it out. Um, for sure there's a show at 7.15, that and, was the first one. And 9 p.m. Yeah, so is it just, I think just the two every night? Yeah, but that show went on for oh, over gosh. half an hour. So yeah, we had our snacks, we had a couple of beer, and now we are headed back because we haven't really had a full dinner yet. Yeah. So we're headed back to the night market so you'll see the change in the vibe from when we were there earlier before dark. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, so we actually decided to take you to the other entrance to the night market, which is off of the Ring Road. So the other way that you can get into the Koh Samui Fisherman's Village um, night market is off of Ring Road, we're right, we're just right beside the Holiday Inn. So if you find the Holiday Inn, you'll have no problem finding the night market. Also, there's a big gas station and a 7-Eleven across the road. And by entering this way, you're straight into the food street. The other thing is if you're not staying in Fisherman's Village, and you wanted to come to check out the market, one of the best ways to get here, you can take a taxi, but there's also the Song Chow. Song Chow, yeah, or Song Chow. Song Chow, which is the red trucks. I'm sure, they're always waiting here, so they will drop you off or pick you up right on the ring road here where we are outside the night market. So let's head in and see what we're getting for dinner. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Here at night, right? Yeah. 
right? Much busier, oh my lord, so much busier than a couple hours ago. Yeah, so this is where you need to come. You need to come after dark. Um, so we're gonna pick up some food soon and then maybe go sit by the band. I think that'd they be usually, really cool. Yeah, Let's they usually that. have a live band. So anyway, we're not sure what we're gonna have. Interesting though, not everything is Thai here. If you've maybe noticed from us walking around, there's literally sort of every cuisine. There's pizza, there's Thai, there's fried food, there's fresh orange juice, there's- A little bit of everything. Uh, there's even some gyros and falafels. So yeah. anyway, let's keep going. Okay, that looks really good. I can't wait to try this. What's it called? The Gao Bao Steam Bun. Wow. How do you say it? Wow Bao. Is that how you say it? Wow Bao? Okay. That sauce looks good, let me tell you. <laughs> if you're new here, Mitch has never met a sauce he doesn't like, so. Okay, so we're here and we're gonna have our steamed bun. Hello! Can have some drinks, sir? Yes, can we have one margarita, please? Margarita? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Like, look at this. I don't know if the GoPro is doing justice, but that just looks beautiful. Oh my God, the pulled pork is so good. It's so messy. I'm a mess. Okay, Jan, this your turn. Very. I'm just gonna have a bit of the pork first. Isn't it good? Sort of Thai. It's nothing like a pulled pork I've ever had in Canada. It's slightly sweet, but it's got some very earthy spices in it, like cardamom or something. Mm. And also the amount of pulled pork in there. Take a look. Oh Open gosh. that up, Jen. Like, like it is just. It loaded. doesn't doesn't fit in the bun. The flavor, top notch. Okay, let's go annihilate this uh, steam bun, and we'll come back and see what else we're gonna eat tonight. Well, we have some gyozas. We have some vegetable and we have some chicken gyozas. Okay, so there's a lady right over there who's actually just making the gyozas. I don't know if you can get a shot of that, Jan. You don't get much pressure in that. Okay, thank you. Start the bang. Is that right? Thank you so much. Okay, so we have our second dish and we made our way to the little seating area by the live entertainment and we have a band tonight with a great song playing. Sorry, love live music. Okay. She has a nice little sauce in there. Yeah, she does, it's kind of hidden. I think I have a chicken one first. All are hot. Oh. Okay, hey, we've had some dumplings here. Hers are the best. Okay, I hope we paid attention to that stall. These are really good gyozas, and she's she just poured some little sauce over top of them. So I'm not really sure what it is. You don't need a separate dipping sauce. She's already done it for you, and this is top notch. Hey, I'm gonna let you try, babe. Okay, we have not seen these every night at the market. This is sort of new. It looks, it's sticky rice in a patty and then put on the barbecue. Mitch described it as like a rice hash brown, which I guess is accurate. And I wasn't sure if we'd get a sauce or anything with it, but we didn't. She just shoved it in this little bag. So, I don't know. It's legit, just plain old rice. It's been thrown on a barbecue. 
All right, I got my hatch brown. I'm excited. Yeah, this is not my favorite. I would not order it again. Maybe it was supposed to be served with sauce, but we weren't giving sauce. It's just very dry. There's a, whoa. I feel like I'm eight years old eating puffed wheat for breakfast. It's just not good. Sorry, not a fan of the, of the rice. We're gonna go finish our gyozas and listen to the band and hopefully they've got that mic in check now. Okay, so I think we should peace out for now. Um, and we've got our nice margaritas, so let's just do a cheers. But if you're here in Fisherman's Village on a Friday night, um, these are the great things to do. Absolutely. See a sunset, hit up Coco Tams, and hit up the night market for some yummy food and some delicious margaritas or cocktails of your choice. Absolutely. So, cheers. Perfect. Cheers. Perfect.